All right, we're back and we are talking about reverse DNS. So what is reverse DNS? Well, what is forward DNS? Forward DNS is I look up a domain name, www.xyz.com. Reverse is the opposite. I've got an IP address and I wanna know what it is. So if I look up 1.1.1.1, it gives me a host name. And that host name is the reverse lookup. So how does it actually work? Well, back when the internet was first being created, ARPA created this uh, domain name in hyphen addr.arpa. And so essentially what it does is it takes your IP address and prepends that to that domain. And uh, the ARPA registration is the reverse registration of that. So as soon as I type in an IP address to resolve, let's say I go to NS lookup and I type in an IP address, it's gonna use the N address ARPA, N-A-D-D-R, ARPA to reverse to a host name. Why is that important? Well, if, if you're doing some troubleshooting or if you, some clients like for example, rely on that reverse DNS. I'll give you another example, mail. So if I send mail to a host, it may look at my D mail record and say, as a spam uh, avoidance technique, it may say, well, does that name, mail.xyz.com, the IP address that it's coming from, does it reverse to mail.xyz.com? Because if it doesn't, maybe they aren't authoritative for that domain. So that's just one area where a mail server may authorize that particular server to see if it's available for that particular domain name. So troubleshooting. So if I'm using a tool like Traceroute, um, it's going to go hop by hop and do a reverse DNS lookup on each of those hops to give me back a host name, hop by hop. Uh, additionally, if I'm using a tool like Telnet or SSH, some of those clients do a reverse DNS lookup on to get the host name as you connect. So if you're doing an SSH session to a host and you see some delay, you're like, why does this delay happen every time I SSH to this host? Well, that, SS that host may be trying to do a reverse lookup on your IP address and that delay time is it waiting for it to time out. That's really it, reverse DNS. It's taking an IP address, getting it to a host name, and that's it. If I said anything in this video that you said, hey, I'd love to know more about that, make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching.